at St. John, the 15th chapter. If I were to put a title on today's message, it will be part two of getting rid of the dead branches. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Uh, I had Joshua to go out in the yard out. And I had a gift for y'all. I told him to go out and find me some dead branches. You may not understand what this is all about right now, but as we go along, you'll, you'll understand what this message is all about. Amen? Amen. As I had brought up last week, uh, that man is like tree. Amen. If you look at a tree and how it stands, you find out very quickly that it looked like a man. Especially when he raises his hand. Somebody here say that. I, I learned another thing about uh, a tree that if you really want the fruit, you're going to have to go out on the limb. Look to somebody and say, if you want the fruit, you're going to have to go out on the limb. But all on our trees, this time of the year is pruning time. That means that if you got a tree in your yard, or, and if it ain't bringing forth buds or fruit, you can tell right away it's a dead branch. What you got to do with that dead branch is get yourself a saw or a hatchet and chop it out. You say, but why? It's dead. And the reason why you get rid of the dead branches is so the rest of the tree can get some nutrients. The rest of the tree can live a little bit better. So is it in the natural, so is it in the spiritual. Man is like trees, and in your life, the deeds that you do are the fruit of your tree. Somebody talk to me. You might not want to hear it this morning, but the message is true. Yes, it is. I want you to know that the apple don't fall far from the tree. Whatever mama and dad is doing, somebody talk to me. If you're not careful, you'll wind up doing it. It can be good fruit or it can be bad fruit. Somebody talk to me. But if you got some dead branches in your life, can't nobody move your dead branches but you. Somebody talk to me. It's one thing to cut out the dead branches. It's another thing to get them together. But when you get them all together, don't forget, rid, don't forget to burn them and get rid of them. Because if you don't get rid of the dead branches, in our spiritual life, they got a way of weighing us down. And the Bible said, get rid of every sin and every weight that so easily possesses you. And run this race with patience. We got to learn to look at the dead branches. Maybe there's some things in your life. Don't look at my life. Somebody talk to me now. Because if you keep looking at my life, you will find something wrong. Somebody talk to me now. And while you're trying to cut up my branches, your branches is weighing you down. Somebody talk to me now. Somebody look at somebody and say, don't look at my dead branches. Get rid of your dead branches first. And maybe you can help me chop down mine. to get rid of your dead branch. Uh -huh. Somebody talk to you now. But they got this big old limb that everybody can see. Yeah. You've seen dead branches on trees and yeah. all the rest of the tree is blooming, beautiful, and, and then you go by and say, I wonder what happened to that branch. Yeah. Y'all ain't with me right now. So is it in the spiritual life, when you look at somebody's life, yeah. somebody talk to you now. I tell you up front so you don't misunderstand me. That's right. If you keep looking at me, you're going to find something wrong with me. Yeah. Uh, you're going to say, Reverend Watkins need a lot of help. Yeah. Uh, 
And then I'm gonna sell them my breath sold to you. <laughs> We're going to jump way up to verse 10 because we, we went through, through about 10 verses here. Amen. Go ahead and preach. If ye keep my commandments, That's what he said. ye shall abide in my love. That's it. Jesus said, even as I have kept my Father's commandments Amen. and abide in his love. That's right. See, it's all about love. Uh -huh. These things have I spoken unto you that ye might have joy. Amen. Joy remain in you, uh -huh. and that your joy might be filled. Yeah. Somebody talk to me now. Go ahead. You know, we've been made endure, huh? Yeah. For not. Amen. But long after the Holy Ghost can dealt with them branches that's sticking out in your life. As long as you look at them and say, I've got to get rid of them. As long as your heart is overwhelmed, I'm here to tell you, come joy in the morning. commandment that your joy might be filled. Yeah. That you love one another as I have loved you. That's what he said. Jesus yeah. said, greater love have no man than this, that a man will lay down his life for his friend. Yeah. You brought your friend in here this morning. Yeah. Somebody talk to me now. Yeah. Oh, but I got a friend closer than your friend. Yeah. Somebody talk to me now. I got a friend that's yeah. closer